Hi, this is David from Ash IT. We've just had an XPS 9500 come into our shop with the uh, infamous loose trackpad. So I'm just going to open it up today, take a look, see if we can fix it uh, with just a very cheap and easy DIY mod. Uh, before anybody attempts this, I just want to say if you've received a Dell XPS recently and it has got this trackpad, then first things first, I will get in touch with Dell and get them to replace the laptop or at least fix it themselves. But if for any reason you can't do that, then hopefully this video might help you fix this trackpad yourself. Getting the base plate cover off is uh, pretty straightforward. You just remove the eight T5 uh, screws from the base plate. And I used a plastic pry just to put it into the very front of the base plate, slide it round and lift it off from front to back. It came off pretty easily and didn't, you know, there was no clips to break. Once inside, we need to remove the battery. Again, quite a straightforward process. Eight screws, four on the top and four on the bottom to remove. And you need to unplug the battery connector. You see me doing now. <clears throat> also, we have uh, the speaker cable taped to the base of the battery, so you need to be very careful. So rather than actually lift the battery out of the machine, I rotated the battery 180 degrees and placed it flat on the desk the other side of the laptop. This kept the cable in place, so I didn't have to take away all the tape from the actual uh, battery itself. With the battery um, flipped out, we're exposing the back of the trackpad. Now this model, there often is a bit of play <clears throat> when you start pressing down on the trackpad itself. We're just going to put a small piece of tape onto the uh, metal frame around the trackpad, which gives it an extra bit of pressure when we put the battery back in, eliminating that play. So I've just used a small strip of electrical tape, as you can see here, and then we're going to basically put the laptop back together and just make sure that has worked. So we're going to flip the electrical battery back into place, make sure that the uh, wire for the speakers is still in the channel in front of the battery, and we're going to put back in our eight screws, four on the top and four on the bottom, and then we're going to plug back our battery cable. Lastly, put the base plate back onto the laptop and use a little bit of pressure just to push it back and sort of clip it back onto the frame itself. When you're happy you've done that and it's all lined up, you're going to pop the eight T5 Torx screws back into place. And that basically is it. Hopefully that has removed your trackpad play so you can basically turn it back over and test it. Um, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll certainly try and help. And please subscribe for further content. Thank you.